Okay, let's take a much closer look at activity-based costing. So um, activity-based costing is essentially a refined costing system. It reduces cost distortion to a minimum, um, and it's a way to allocate indirect overhead costs to production. So the focus of activity-based costing is, of course, on activities and the cost of performing those activities. So each activity is going to have its own cost driver and use a separate allocation rate. ABC recognizes that activities are costly to perform and that each product manufactured may have different types and amounts of activities. Thus activities become the building blocks for compiling the indirect costs of products and services. So here you can see the traditional allocation method. We start with costs and we assign those out to products using a single overhead plant-wide rate. Now activity-based costing, we start with activities that drive the costs and then those costs get allocated via activity to the products. So the most common allocation bases in traditional cost systems are going to be direct labor hours and machine hours and these bases work great when changes in the quantity of the base are correlated with changes in the overhead costs being assigned to the base. The problem is that doesn't always <laughs> correlate. They don't always um, work that way. So in many processes overhead is increasing while direct labor is actually decreasing if you think about a lot of automated machining and um, factory equipment these days uses very little direct labor. And then the variety and complexity of products is also increasing at the same time. So activity-based costing is going to use more allocation bases. So ABC systems may base the level of activity for each cost pool on the capacity of the activity rather than the budgeted level of activity, which is always used in traditional costing systems. Using the budgeted level of activities to compare to compute a predetermined overhead rate results in unused capacity costs being assigned to product. Using activity capacity to compute predetermined overhead rates isolates unused capacity costs as a period expense rather than assigning them to products. So ABC is a costing method that's designed to provide managers with cost information for strategic and other decisions that potentially affect capacity and therefore fixed as well as variable cost. It's ordinarily used as a supplement to rather than a replacement for a company's usual costing system. So just as you see noted here, it does not replace an existing job order or process costing system. It does help segregate overhead into various cost pools which provide more cost information so it supplements and does not replace. So let's look at how activity-based costing works. Okay, so here we go. The first step is to identify and estimate the indirect costs. So we have to look at what activities are involved in the production of a particular product and then look at the overhead costs that are related to that particular activity. So for example, machine setup, the cost to involved in setting up a machine for a production run would be the primarily the indirect labor used to get the machines going. Materials handling, so taking it from one location to another would include forklifts, gas, operator wages, those would all be associated with materials handling. Here's another one, um, inspecting, so the testing of equipment, the labor specifically allocated for inspecting and packaging, the packaging equipment. And in this case they looked at all of those costs related to those various activities and they came up with a million dollar total manufacturing overhead. Now uh, we need to, second step, set an allocation base for each activity. So if you think about it, machine setup is driven, a cost driver for machine setup activities would be the number of setups. So the number of times that you have to set up a machine to get it ready for a production run is a good uh, indicator of that activity. Materials handling, so how many parts are we moving might be a good one. Uh, fabricating parts based on machine hours, supervisor, Supervising assembly would be direct labor hours, inspecting number of inspections, packaging the number of cube feet packaged. So then we take those activities and the costs that we were 
found to be associated with those activities. Divide it by the allocation base. Remember machine setup was $80,000 and we would divide it by the 8,000 setups that were done during that period. So that would mean $10 per setup. And then we could do that for each and every one of those. So now we've got an activity rate, cost allocation rate for each and every activity. And then we can multiply it out for each specific job. So let's say we're going to manufacture uh, one elliptical and it takes $10 to set up the machine and there's two setups required so that would be $20. Materials handling is 50 cents per part and there's 20 parts. Fabricating takes one machine hour. Supervising nine direct labor hours. Three inspections and then packaging. So $109 then would be allocated to one elliptical. Here's some just general examples of cost drivers, activities which could cause the overhead to increase or decrease. For example, materials purchasing is an activity that requires production of a document called a purchase order. The purchase order becomes a cost driver, thus the basis for the overhead allocation can be made to the material purchasing activity. You will not have to choose a cost driver that is beyond the scope in this course, so it will always be provided to you. But please be aware that companies do put considerable time and effort into selecting their cost drivers.